Being Spider-Man has brought me nothing but unhappiness. In order to satisfy my own cravings for excitement, I've put the very people I care for at risk. Aunt May, my friends, the girls in my life, and what for? Can I be sure that my only motive was the conquest of crime? Or was it the thrill of battle? The precious taste of triumph? The thirst for power in which can never be quenched? Whatever it is, may heaven please help me. The more I think of it, the more I feel like Jamerson was right. For the sake of my own sanity, there's only one thing left to do. I was just a young, naive teenager when I first became Spider-Man. But time has a way of slipping by, changing the world about us, and even how we see things. And sooner or later, every boy needs to put their toys away and become a man. From 1840. Will you have a good taste, Miss Tama? We just got here, and the old man is already kissing the boss's ass. <laughs> one bite of this insolent one. <laughs> I'm curious the why of this formal reunion, Mr. Hammer. Well, Miss Silver Sable, I thought we need a place more adequate for our issues. West Wan would be a good place. All the levels of this building belong to me. The clients and the waiters here work for me. Most of them are formidable killers. <laughs> I guess you caught us here with interests beyond wine. Certainly, gentlemen and lady. It's a pleasure to receive you here as my guests. Surely this night will enter to the history as the beginning of our rise. How and where are we gonna attack Spider-Man? Calm down. We'll have time to think of the combat logistic. Now, we have to talk about more formal issues. This is New York City. The blue area is my influence zone. It's smaller than wanted right now. But after we kill Spider-Man, it's going to be hard to find a place that I don't own. And what are we gonna receive? I already solved this problem. Each one of you will be with one-fifth of the territory that I don't own. You can choose any place. And if it doesn't cause prejudice to the other one. Or me. I want the Imperial State! Shut up! You're lucky just for coming at this reunion. We can decide who's gonna stay with it. But I think your ashes will dirty my arena, so shut up, mercenary! Idiots! If you continue like this, you will be punished, and will lose your areas. That if we don't get defeated by Spider-Man, we are to at least now work together. Very well. I guess we can all fit everyone in a place you want. Now, let's talk about what matters. Spider-Man. I found it! The glider! Hello, class. I'd like to remind you all that our prom is tomorrow. So, Gwen, are you okay to go to the prom tonight? Oh, Peter. 
Since what happened with my father that night, I just want to stay home. Oh, no. I totally get that. Actually, would it be alright if I invited MJ? You know, just as a friend? Sure. Hold it. Stop. You can't go in there. Wait, that's Mr. Jameson's private office. Maintain your cool, lady. When he sees what I've got here, he'll give you a medal. Hey, Jameson! Open up! This is your lucky day, mister! Miss Braggs, since when do you let punk kids come barging into my office? I I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him. He raced right past me! Hold it! Before you blow a gasket, look what I found in the trash can! What do you think this is? A garbage collection agency? Hey! Wait! Come here! Let me see that. It's... it's a costume. It's the Wall Crawling Weasel's costume! I'll be hanged if it isn't. It's... it looks like the real McCoy. And if you found it in the trash can, it can only mean one thing. Don't... don't just stand there, Miss Brant! Get me to the city desk! And I mean now! You rate a reward, kid. Grab a free copy of the Bugle on the way out. That's a reward? Peter, is it true? You gave up? Yeah. Spider-Man won't hurt anyone else anymore. But what about the people in danger on the streets? They've had their ways before with Spider-Man. And I'm sure they'll know what to do now. Peter, you know why Spider-Man gave up? I know a hero when I see one. Too few characters out there flying around like that saving old girls like me. And Lord knows everybody needs a hero. Courageous, self-sacrificing people. Setting examples for all of us. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer for them, scream their names. And years later, they'll tell us how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught them how to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, and finally allows us to die with pride. Even though sometimes we have to be steady and give up the thing we want the most. Even our dreams. <laughs> Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Now that Spider-Man gave up, it's our time to act. So, how are we going to get there, Tiger? Harry was going to give me a ride there, but since we're not talking too much these days, we'll have to go by foot. Well, I guess you're another lawyer so desperate to help me, or came to spread in my face that my sentence increased ten years. Oh, Mr. Alex, I came to represent a delegation that's installing at the city, and we're interested on your history. Look, if you're talking about the Russians, I don't have nothing. Multiple bank assaults, considerable damage to the U.S. Army, the NYPD, and the specialists are not conventional containment. Even got Vantage on Spider-Man. I'm not interested. Many guys already told me about teams like you. And it never finished as I wanted. Now look at me. Seven life imprisonments, no conditional release... And my family hates me. Flint. Oh yes. Mr. Marco. Sandman for the close ones. Don't talk about him. He died. You're dirty in his name. I would never do that. Flint was a great man. We'll never find anyone like him. It's sad to see that the man who killed him is on loose linging in New York. Shut up! Calm down, mister, or I'll have to suspend our talk. I won't commit any crimes. No more. 
Flint is dead. I already tried to avenge him and it didn't work. Why would it work this time? Great. You ask Mr. Alex. Could you explain to me again what we're gonna do? You have impenetrable skin. You will be uh, invincible. And your sanity will go away. Okay, let's do this! Ouch! Ah! Oh! Ouch! It hurts so much! Stop it! Ah! Right? Help me! Where is he? Leg's broken. Where's Spider-Man? I can't move it. <laughs> Where is he? Oh God. MJ. Hold on. I've got to get some air. I'll be right back. I promise. <sighs> All right. Well, maybe one last time. Perfect. I'll put a stop to this crime in progress, and get some nice new pictures for the bugle of me and this hot cat burglar. Wow! I can't believe it's Spider-Man! Easy kitty. I don't want to fight. My name's Black Cat. And cats don't fight spiders. We squash them. Don't get your goop in my hair. Don't worry. It'll actually come off with ice and or peanut butter. You've got a sweet skill set there, Spidey. You want in on this gig? We could split the tank. So what do you see, hot stuff? Want a part of the money? Hey, we just met, and I'm not that kind of spider. Give a cat a chance, and she'll make you that kind of spider. Stop it. I'm blushing. For being a black cat, you sure seem to be bringing yourself some pretty bad luck. I mean, all I had to do was follow the police sirens and... Wait, they should have been here by now. Oh, silly Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm afraid the police cars weren't coming to this bank. What? Where are they going? Well, I shouldn't tell you, but since I'm a bad kitty, they were going to hammerhead the building. How do I know you're not just lying to me? One hand washes the other. So I ask, are we going to be bad guys together? Was it something I said? <sighs> I never should have trusted her. I mean, come on, Spidey. She's a thief. Well, if it isn't the itsy bitsy Spidey, do you remember me? I'm sorry, but I don't remember. Alex O'Hearn, you always treated me like nothing when I didn't have my powers. Oh, Alex. I remember you now. You seem kind of different. And Flint Marco, do you remember him? He was a good man. With a wife and an adorable daughter, he was my friend, and you killed him! Now I'm gonna squash you, little insect! That's actually a common mistake. Spiders are actually arachnids, not insects. Oh, you're not so strong now, huh, Spidey? I've gotta admit, Rhino, you're good. I'm invincible right now. Impenetrable skin. Nothing stops the Rhino! If nothing can penetrate, then he can't transpire. His face is sweating for his whole body. I've gotta make him gasp for air. 
Okay, I'll change the temperature for 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And close the windows. Hey, Hornhead! How's your wife? So, let me guess. Your mom never loved you much as a child. And now you're robbing banks in a rhino suit. So cliche. Yoo-hoo! <sighs> so, Alexander, tell me. Who are you working for? I can't tell you. Mr. Hammerhead said that I can't tell you that he's at the point with illegal weapons. Spider-Man? You're punctual for your own funeral? <laughs> Okay, so let's do this quickly. I should be dancing at my prom right now. Let's dance then. That sound. Hydraulic servos are powering his armor. No hydraulics, no power. Trick or treat, smell my feet, time to blow you off the street. <laughs> Let's play. Let's. Think fast. Oh boy. And who are you? I'm Jack O'Lantern. And just like I did with my father. I'll kill you! My big head is stuck in this tight hole. That's what he said. Tombstone, we've got to get out of here, or we'll suffocate. Speak for yourself, Webhead. I don't breathe. Well, I did it. After all my pledges, all my big plans, I reverted to type at the first chance I got. And now Hammerhead is dead because of me. He could have had a chance for redemption one day. But now that weapons have entered the city, people are now at a greater risk of being killed. Well, Uncle Ben, it's like you've always said, with great power comes great responsibility. This is both my gift and my curse. For I am Spider-Man, and this city needs a hero. Mr. Osborne's glider was stolen! Peter, what are you doing here? I couldn't dance with another girl, while the girl of my life is home alone. Oh, Pete. I love you so much. Come in. Some say love is a burning thing that it may Oh, but I know love as a fading thing Just as fickle as a feather in a stream See, honey, I saw love You see, 
it came to me It put its face up to my face so I could see Yeah, then I saw love disfigure me Into something I am 